Hey all you star finders out there, I'm David, the Digital Dungeon Master, and welcome to my video where we are going to take a look at the Bounty Hunter theme in the Starfinder Core Rulebook. Now the great thing about all of these themes in Starfinder, no matter which one you choose, is that they are all compatible with the races and the classes within the game. There are no restrictions, so if you want to go hog wild and play a Yasaki Soldier Bounty Hunter, feel free to. So the great thing about Starfinder is there's no restrictions for the theme, race, and class that you want to put together. So if you want to get crazy and go with like a Yasaki Mystic Bounty Hunter, you're not restricted in any way. So after you get done choosing your theme, your race, your class, why don't you think of a good background story for your character? You're a bounty hunter. I mean, you hunt people for money. So how did you become a bounty hunter? Where did you get your training? Was it maybe a family business that you got into? Maybe you're in the military at one point and got your training that way, or maybe even that secret organization that you were in. Have you ever had a partner? Maybe you had a manhunt go wrong and your partner got killed. How much do you charge to hunt someone down? Do you have any fears or phobias of any particular aliens that you will not track down? Do you know any other bounty hunters? Maybe you have a rival with another bounty hunter that tries to hunt down the same marks you do. Do you have any quirks? When you're trying to find out information on a particular mark, maybe you might get a little rough with the informants in the local area. Or have you even ever just said to hell with it and stopped hunting a particular mark? I mean, the possibilities are endless just about for a bounty hunter. So make sure that your background story is strong because that's only going to give your game master more fuel and more hook points to put into your campaign. Now, each theme gets an ability score bonus and also four extraordinary theme features. You'll get those at level one, level six, level 12, and level 18. Now, some of these theme features have a lot of components involved, so we are gonna go over each individual theme feature. So at level one, you are going to get theme knowledge. This is where you as a bounty hunter are gonna to try to scrape together and try to ascertain as much information or data that you can on the mark that you're hunting down by using his alias or maybe his real name. Now the first bonus to this theme is a plus one to your constitution score. Just make sure that during character creation, you don't go past 18 because you can't start a character with a score higher than an 18. Next, you're gonna be able to reduce your DC by five if you know the name or an alias of your mark if you're trying to gather any information. Now, the checks that you'll get this DC reduction by five is if you're using culture or any profession bounty hunter checks. You will also be able to reduce the DC by five of your culture or your profession bounty hunter check if you are trying to recall any kind of information about law practices and areas, any types of law organizations or affiliates, maybe the jurisdictions in an area that you're traveling in. So you'll be able to reduce that DC by five. Now remember, if you do any of these skill checks with culture or your profession bounty hunter skill, any kind of check will not give you any other secret identities or aliases of the mark that you're hunting. You're going to have to try to find those out on your own. Next, you're going to get survival as a class skill. Now, if you're playing a class that already has survival as one of your class skills and you have it chosen, then you will get a permanent plus one bonus to all of your survival checks. Next, after you defeat or capture one of your marks, you will be able to take an action and spend the next minute scouring some type of database or maybe a dossier to find another mark. And lastly, make sure you really choose your marks wisely, because if you decide to give up on one of your marks and cancel your manhunt, then that is going to give you a minus two to all of your skill checks for one week. Now at level six, you are going to get Swift Hunter. This is where you as a bounty hunter are specifically trained to go into particular areas, use your diplomacy to gather information on your mark or your alias from the locals. 
Now, first, when you go into a small region and you're trying to gather information about your mark or the alias that you're trying to hunt down, you are going to be using your diplomacy skill to try to ascertain this information. Well, normally when you do this, it is going to take 1d4 hours to obtain the information. But with this Swift Hunter skill at level six, that 1d4 time is going to be cut down to 1d2 hours, which is gonna save you half the time. Next, you're gonna be able to use your survival skill to track down your mark. Say you've got the information, he's on the run, you need to go on the run and you need to move at a full speed. Now, normally when you're doing this type of movement while tracking, it is a negative five modifier to the skill checks for survival. But when you have this Swift Hunter feature, it takes that minus five, negates it, and then you don't have a penalty at all. Next, at level 12, you are going to get relentless. This is where your work ethic is above all else. This is where you never tire, and this is when you never give up looking for your mark. Now, first, when you're doing a forced march, you can do 12 hours instead of the standard eight hours for a forced march. Now, remember, if you go over the 12 hours, you are gonna have to start doing constitution checks for every hour that you go over 12. Now, also remember that the modifier, the negative modifier will double for every hour after 12 as well. And every time you fail, you're gonna take non-lethal damage. So watch out on those forced marches. Next, when you do any kind of hustle over a long-term area of distance, you can hustle for two hours because normally you can only hustle for one. So with this skill, Relentless, you can hustle for two hours. Now be careful because every hour that you go over two hours, you're going to automatically take non-lethal damage starting at one. And every other hour after that, you will double the non-lethal damage. So be careful when you're hustling after your marks. Lastly, you are going to be able to track your mark at double speed with the minus 10 reduction to the penalty. Meaning, whenever you do a survival check to track someone down at double speed. Normally, it is a minus 20 penalty. That is huge. But with Relentless, it knocks that minus 20 down to a minus 10 to your survival check. And last, at level 18, you are going to get Master Hunter. This is where you are exhilarated and rejuvenated every time that you capture or defeat one of your marks. Now, first, you can once a day study all of the information on your mark. And when you do this, after 10 minutes, you get to add one to your resolve pool. Now you can only do this once a day, and this does not count as a stamina rest. And lastly, once a day, you can also get a plus one to your resolve pool if you successfully hunt down one of your marks or you defeat him or her. So there you go, everybody. That is the Bounty Hunter theme that is in the Starfinder core rulebook. If you guys like the video, please do me a huge favor and thumbs it up. I would greatly appreciate it. And what do you guys think of this theme? Do you like the Bounty Hunter? Do you not like the Bounty Hunter? I want to know down in the comments section below. So once again, everybody, my name is Dave. I'm the Digital Dungeon Master, and you can check out all of my other Starfinder and Dungeons & Dragons 5e videos on my YouTube channel. Until next time, happy gaming and stay safe.